today we're going to talk about operation on integers. So first we have to remember what integers are. So I'm going to use a number line to show you. So the integers are all, we start at zero, and then we're going to include all the counting numbers. So one, two, three, four, and so on. So these are counting numbers. And these ones are cal they're called the natural and the symbol we use is n for those natural. But then to find the integers, we're going to find the opposite of these counting numbers. So the opposite, so the opposite of 1 is negative 1, the opposite of 2 is negative 2, and so on. So these are the opposite numbers of counting numbers and all together that makes our integers and the symbols we use for integers is z like this all right remember also that if we're looking at the opposite if for example i'm taking negative three the opposite of negative three would be positive three so it's it at on the opposite side opposite side of the zero all right, so we're going to use different models to visualize our integers. So we're going to use the counters. We're going to use the blue for the positive and the red for the negative. And for example, if I want to show you number one, oops, hold on. If I want to show you one, I'm going to take one blue counter and put it like this. So that will represent one. If I want to represent negative three, I'm going to put three red and make sure you write your negative three. You could also use a number line to represent our numbers. So like we did earlier, one, two, three, four or negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Now let's look at how we would do addition of integers. So for example, if I want to represent 4 plus 5, I'm going to need 4 blue counters plus 5 blue counters. So you can see that if I have 4 positive and 5 positive and I add them up, my answer is going to be 9. Now, if I was going to do the same thing on the number line, imagine that you start at 4 and you're adding 5 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we would be here at 9. So our answer is 9. So that's easy because that's something that you are used to do with two positive. Now, what if you have one positive and one negative? So here we're going to have six positive. So we're going to have six blue and three negative so three red so if i want to represent this if you look at this picture now representing your six blue and three red you can see that one plus a uh, plus one minus one this will cancel out so these two will cancel out these three will cancel out so what is left is three so my answer is going to be 3. And why is that? You have to remember we had 6 positive and 3 negative. So we had more positive, right? So we have, because 6 is greater than 3, so we had 6 blue and 3 red. So our answer is going to stay positive. So you're going to do the same when you have bigger numbers. Now, if you do it on the number line and you have to do 6, plus minus three minus three means you're going backward three position so minus three here so our answer here is three now let's look what happened if you have more negative so see here we have 10 red 10 negative and seven blue so if we have more red than blue then our answer is going to be negative let's look at the counters representing that with the counter so if i look at my 10 red and my 7 blue i can see that i can cancel out like if i mix them two by two like this my 7 
then what is left? I have three red, so three red means negative three. So I had to find the difference between 10 and seven. So 10 minus seven is three. And because I had more negative, then my answer was negative because my 10 was greater than seven. So my answer is negative. If you look on the number line and you start at negative 10, and you add seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where are you here? Are you at zero? Not yet, because you would need 10 to go to zero. So you're still in the negative because the difference between 10 and seven is three. And the last one is when you have two negatives. So here I have two red and here I have nine red. So that's a bit easier because you realize that all my counters will be red. How many will I have and what color will they be? So you can see here I have my two red and my nine reds. So all together I have 11 red and you have to remember red means negative. So my answer is negative 11. If you look at it on the number line, you start here at negative two and you go back nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here. So you're going to end up at negative 11 because two and nine adds up to 11, but it's all in the negative. So now have fun adding integers.